Hi everyone, myself Lilias. I am doing my graduation in BE, uh, ECE department at RMK College of Engineering and Technology. My teammates are Krishna Sai Mandapu, Lekala Ravi Kumar, and Mandali Tripathreti. <coughs> we are doing this project under guidance of Mrs. P. Sivalakshmi Ma'am. And we are working on a project named Oral Cancer Analysis using Convolutional Neural Network. Objective We are going to classify images of oral cancer using deep learning techniques. We are using convolutional neural networks to train data sets to achieve maximum accuracy. Based on the classification done by convolutional neural network, the prediction will be done whether cancer is present or not. Abstract Oral cancer is uh, one of the most common cancers found among men. By early diagnosis and providing a significant treatment, the chances of survival will be increased. In mouth, uh, it commonly starts as a painless white patch. It thickens and develops into red patches and keeps on continues to grow. Without prevention, it does not heal at all. Main causes of oral cancer are consumption of alcohol, chewing of betel quid, smoking, using tobacco, etc. In pre-malignant stage, leukoplakia is formed, whereas in stage of malignant, erythroleukoplakia and erythroplakia is formed. Proposed system For the automated detection of uh, oral lesions for early detection of oral cancer, image classification with convolutional neural network was used to analyze, analyze computer uh, vision based techniques. Uh, data sets will be trained using different types of algorithms based on uh, maximum level of accuracy we obtain from uh, many algorithms uh, respective algorithm is used uh, what is a cnn convolutional network uh, cnn is used to classify visual images and it is a type of uh, deep neural network to process the input image, there are many hidden layers in CNN and these hidden layers contain so many neural networks to visualize and process the input data. In convolutional neural network, firstly data converted into matrix and then by convolutional method, by convolution method and pooling layers, the data will be processed into uh, different neural networks. Um, this is the program of our project we have done. Um, first lines uh, will clear and close all the all the operations we have done before, uh, which uh, clears for a new operation to begin, new run to begin. Um, where uh, uh, these lines will read the input image from the data sets. Uh, Whereas a uh, uh, path name and file name will be specified for the input image, and uh, these lines will uh, resize the input image. That is, uh, the input image will be in many sizes, whereas uh, we cannot define. So uh, we resize the input uh, as per uh, uh, perfect measurement, so that uh, operations, uh, many operations will be uh, done easier. And. Uh, these lines, uh, these lines of a program will be uh, used to enhance the input image by using gamma correction. Uh, whereas gamma correction is uh, uh, the luminance level of a whole image is balanced. That is, uh, the light distributed through the whole image will be stabilized. Uh, and these lines of our program uh, will uh, will perform Gaussian smoothening. Uh, Gaussian smoothening is a 2D convolution operator that is used to blur images and uh, remove or uh, detail on noise. Mm, much noise will be removed by using Gaussian smoothening by using Gaussian, Gaussian smoothening image. Uh, and uh, these lines were uh, used to uh, train data sets, whereas uh, the location for the data sets will be given. Um, and uh, it, it also includes uh, subfolders and a label source and folder names too. Uh, and uh, uh, these are the CNN layers that we use to uh, 
we use it to train our data sets uh, uh, these are all the CNN layers we use a relu layer convolutional layer max pooling layer um, fully connected layer soft max layer classification layer and many uh, and this is the main logic of our program that is uh, uh, in our in our project uh, we have two sub we have two subfolders named one and two uh, in uh, data sets uh, in data set folder whereas the first subfolder contain um, images uh, that has oral cancer and second subfolder contain the images that does not have oral cancer uh, if the output uh, if the output uh, is from if the output is from first folder then uh, it pops as uh, oral cancer is detected uh, so the output will be oral cancer is detected and if the output is from the second folder which uh, which uh, which contains the images of a um, of normal uh, of uh, which does not have oral cancer then the output pops as uh, oral cancer is not detected I'm going to run this program once. And these are the images that we have as an input. Uh, and finally, uh, we will get a message that uh, whether the oral cancer is detected or not as uh, this pop-up message and uh, we have a graph uh, which indicates the 15, uh, 15 applications that we do to increase our accuracy to maximum and uh, here is a maximum uh, 15 the, uh, number which indicates the total number of iterations and uh, we get five, 5 figures as an uh, output Whereas the uh, first figure consists of an input image and uh, second figure here consists of a resized input image, uh, which we do, which we always uh, is a must, uh, must use step for further operations to make further operations easier. And uh, figure 3 is an enhanced image after T gamma correction, and figure 4 is a Gaussian smoothening image, and figure 5 is a common output image. Mm -hmm. okay. And that's all. Thank you.